Do you like working for your money? Do you like money? Yes. Do you like money flowing into your experience? Yes. Do you like the feeling of deservability of money? Yes. Do you justify your, the money that comes or allow it? Do, do you justify it? And is the justifying that you're doing your form of allowing it? And can you feel that there's a lot of room to play with? In other words, could you, could you shift your perspective and get into a more allowing place where you'd need less justification? Do you know people who work really, 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 really hard and don't have much money flowing into their experience? Do you know people who don't seem to work hard at all, who have a lot of money flowing through their experience? Do you understand that they've figured that out? That that they have just tweaked themselves vibrationally and that's what makes the difference that it's not about action it's about vibrational alignment so do you get that that's the real work that you want to do it's energy work it's vibrational work it's attitudinal work it's it's feeling work it's think thoughts that feel good it's telling the new story it's becoming the writer of your story the way you want it to be do you think it is wrong for someone to have a lot of money if someone has a lot of money, do they deprive someone else of money? Is the pile of money a finite pile that has to be divvied out or is it expanding exponentially based upon desire? Do you see that there are a lot of people who have asked and there is a veritable fortune ready to be received that is not being allowed by thoughts of worry? Can you see how thoughts of recession or thoughts of depression are not about any reality they're about attitude they're about focus do you know that there are those who thrive in the worst of times and that those that don't do well in the best of times do you get it that it's about vibration and not about any sort of reality yes you do it is so interesting to listen to so many of our human friends telling us that the reason that they are talking about something is because it is true and we say that really is a poor excuse because there are so many things that are true true only means somebody gave their attention to it offered a vibration about it law of attraction gave it to them as law of attraction gave it to them they observed it as they observed it they offered a vibration oh we've told you that story the only reason that anything is true in anyone's experience is because somehow some way they've begun offering a vibration about it and in this art of allowing in this science of deliberate creation workshop in this being the deliberate creator of your own life experience because you are the creator of your own life experience whether you know that you are or not so you might as well do it deliberately you can't turn your vibration off you're always radiating the vibration and law of attraction is always responding to your vibration so you may as well offer it on purpose and many say well I am I am offering it on purpose because I am so aware of the things that I do not want and I am stubbornly making sure that those unwanted things do not come into my experience and let me tell you the list of things I don't want so that you can be sure that none of these unwanted things ever come to me it's a long list I've been gathering it for a lifetime and I'm really good at it and I can give it to you cleverly I can make you laugh as I repeat the problems of my life experience to you I've been entertaining people with this for years and so just sit back and enjoy my explanation of why my life is not going the way I want it to and once I've repeated this story again I've done it thousands of times but once I've repeated this story again then I'm going to ask law of attraction to hear me clearly and give me exactly the opposite of it and we say law of attraction is such a fair friend law of attraction will always replicate your vibration and we want you to remember that your vibration your vibrational balance your vibrational countenance your point of attraction what's being matched up with you is always known best by you by the way you feel the way you feel is your indication of your balance of vibration
Now here's why. You are source energy in a physical body and many of you know that. You've been talking about God, you've been talking about source, you've been talking about souls, you've been talking about heaven and angels, you've been trying to get your thoughts wrapped around the idea of the eternalness of who you are. Many of you have believed long before you came to know us that there was life before this body and you are hoping that there will be life after this body. And we want to say to you that most of what you think about all of that is really screwy. We want you to understand that you are an eternal being, but you're not dead or alive. You're not an angel and then a mortal. You're not there with source and then here without source. You are always source energy. You are vibration mostly. And this physical being that you know as you and all of the physical trappings that surround you are interpretations of vibration that you have fashioned into this wonderful world that you are living. You are here focused in your physical bodies on the leading edge of thought and it is magnificent that you are here but we want so much for you to realize that all of you didn't come forth into this physical body and we don't mean all of you in terms of the masses we mean all of you in terms of you in terms of you the larger part of you will always be stable non-physical pure positive God force source love energy that's who you are and part of that consciousness is projected here in this physical body just like the whole of who you you are in this physical body is not attending this workshop here today you're still a mother or a father or a sister or a brother or a bowler or an accountant there are many aspects to your life that are not taking place right here and now while you're focused here with us so we want you to understand that in this greater sense of the word the larger part of you is non physically focused and taking in the benefit that you are providing by being here in this physical body let's start over here Mm, the the future gets very bright and very open lots and, of energy and kind I'll of bet fireworks. there are many people who at one time were standing financially about where I am who broke through this and found a stream of abundance and I can feel the stream of abundance approaching me because things that have never happened to me before are beginning to show up so I know my vibration around money is improving and there's no end to what that improvement will be and it's going to be fun for me over the next days to watch different evidences showing me that I'm really sniffing out the trail of abundance and I accept that 99% of every creation is complete before I see any physical evidence and so it's all right if it doesn't flow right into my hands this red hot minute I can be patient here a little bit I've learned to settle in here and I'm I'm all right in waiting for this and I'm actually beginning to feel my impatience turning to a little bit of eagerness it's going to be exciting to watch the way the universe displays to me in a way that is meaningful where I can consciously recognize that my energy is shifting and I can feel that even in this conversation that I'm having with myself that I'm moving systematically into that stream of money that I'm wanting and I'm not asking for it to come all at once although it can I'm asking it to come through my crack of least resistance which I'm working on right now and it's exciting to me to anticipate the adventure and the surprises and the ways in which it will flow and I'm appreciating already my knowledge about my own guidance system and I'm appreciating my understanding of the law of attraction and I'm appreciating the people that are showing in a demonstrating way that abundance can flow into their experiences and I'm looking forward to meeting people who can tell me their stories about how they were in desperate straits not very long ago and then money began to flow and I like hearing from them especially the part where they say I can't believe that it was always there for me or I have the sensation of oh where have you been all along in other words it's an interesting thing to be on one side of the manifestation in one moment and on the other side of the manifestation in the other moment and I'm looking forward to breaking through that but in the meantime I'm happy to be on this side of the manifestation because I'm feeling better and better and better I've improved my life in so many different ways and I'm eager to begin to see the stream of money flow into my experience I know that I'm worthy of it I know that that's not what the question
question is, I know now that I've just been a little bit vibrationally out of whack. And I can feel that conversations that I'm having with myself like this are bringing me vibrationally into alignment. I'm understanding that my work is this emotional journey. It's not about getting out there and beating the pavement. It's not about finding the vortex, the specific vortex through which the money will flow. I don't want only one specific vortex. I want many vortexes to open. I want to be the focal point where enormous sums of money begin to flow into my experience. I have activated my imagination. There's no end to my ideas of what I will do with this stream of money. It's great fun. I love the idea of playing the game where I'm spending the money. I love the sensation of the money being in my pocket and I love the sensation of expressing it out there into the universe and I love the economy that I benefit as I hire one more to do one more thing or as I buy one more thing and bring it home. But most of all, I enjoy the sensation of freedom. And it's interesting to note that I am having that sensation of freedom right now even though my dollars have not changed at all in this moment. I've broken through the emotional journey. I can feel that I've cleaned up my vibration. I'm much closer. Maybe 70% of that 99.99 .99 is in place. I'm willing to play this game. Who wouldn't want to play this game? It's exhilarating to play this game. It's life-giving to play this game. I could play this game all day every day. Oh, wouldn't it be nice if I have that? Won't it be nice when I have that? Won't it be nice if I have that? I feel such appreciation for the abundance that's flowing into my experience. There's abundance that's coming to me in so many ways. I have the abundance of clarity. I have the abundance of stamina. I have the abundance of health. I have the abundance of friends. I have the abundance of so many things. And now the universe is getting ready to give me the abundance of dollars. The abundance of being able to prove to myself that I am in alignment with all that I want and that it is true that there is nothing that I cannot be or do or have. That's what I want most of all, I say to the universe. I want personal acknowledgement that there is nothing that I cannot be or do or have. And money is part of it. Money might even be a big part of it. I can feel money on its way to me. And I'm grateful for it even as it begins to flow. And I'm proud of myself for the work that I am doing. And I'm eager to improve where I am and I'm happy where I am. I'm doing very well. I've come so far. I'm proud of where I am. I know that the universe sees me as I am. I can get on these rampages anytime that I want to. I'm going to work on these rampages more and more because they just feel so darn good. In fact, in a rampage like this, whether the money comes or not right now, this red hot minute is no big issue to me. I know it's coming. I'm not even wondering if it's coming. I'm not hoping that it's coming. I'm not even believing that it's coming. I know that it's coming. It's just a matter of time. No, it's not even a matter of time. It's just a matter of my alignment with what I want. And it's all right that I want it. Time space reality is giving me the ability to discern it. I've launched rockets of desire and they're over there pulsing with me and so Source and inner being are in alignment with them saying, come this way, come this way, come this way, come this way, come this way. And I can tell by the thoughts that I'm thinking right now, I have come that way. I'm there. I'm there vibrationally. And now let the money roll in. Yes. Yeah.